Hello and welcome to Dr. X's Health Minute. After the truncated World Health Assembly Conference, India will assume the leadership role at the WHO's first executive board meeting to be held on 22nd May. The Finance Ministry has recently announced that the expenditure on public health will be increased and health reforms will be implemented to strengthen the hospital and lab infrastructure. The new ELISA-based diagnostic tools developed by the National Institute of Virology, Pune, can detect the COVID-19 antibody in just 7 to 14 days of infection. The kit is also far more accurate than the rapid test kits. The US FDA has recently approved Ripritinib tablets as the fourth line of treatment of advanced gastrointestinal stromal tumors in patients who have already received three or more kinase inhibitor therapies. Today marks the birthday of Edward Lewis, an American geneticist who won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for his discovery of functions that control early embryonic development. Edward Lewis, together with two other scientists, determined the 15 key genes responsible for the body plan and body segment formation in Drosophila melanogaster. Docplexes, in association with the Indian Medical Pharmacologists Association, has organized an interactive webinar on fragmenting antioxidants and the role of individual components in treating male infertility on 21st May 2020 from 5 pm onwards. Be a part of this interactive webinar and gain insight into the key aspects of antioxidants. Despite huge funds being invested for the development of a vaccine against COVID-19, a UK official recently stated that a successful vaccine might never be found. In such a time of health crisis, Docplexes urges its community to share their views about the possible measures to combat the situation. These were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by Docplexes, India's largest online community of doctors. Stay tuned for more insights in the form of Docplexes Health Minute. Happy Docplexing!